welcome to the University of Arkansas. We are so happy to have you on our campus this year. My name is Lachey Hall and I'm the representative here to tell you a few things about living on our campus. Our campus is a smoke and tobacco free environment. No student under the age of 21 is permitted to have these products even when off campus. No marijuana, which is inclusive of medical marijuana, is allowed on campus. UAPD will issue citations for violations. Each resident hall has expectations for visitation and quiet hours. You can find these hours posted on your hall's lobby or you can check your hall's webpage at housing.ur.edu. You can use your meal plan at these places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There are also other restaurants on campus such as Chick-fil-A, Slim Chickens, and even Starbucks, and many more. There are also other dining places located in the Union and others closer to the 1021 dining hall. At these places, you can use your meal swipes at different times. At other times, you can also use your dining dollars. Dining dollars can also be used on campus convenience stores such as Club Red and Peabody Perks. For more information such as menus, hours, and locations, you can visit the dining website at dineoncampus.com slash razorglass. If someone sends you a package, you will be notified by email and you can pick it up at or near your residence hall. You should regularly check your mailbox for other pieces of mail. Mailboxes are located near front desks. For mail items that don't fit into your regular post office boxes or our relay boxes, you will be notified to pick them up at front desk. Also ask your RA where you can take out your trash. When taking out your trash, make sure it is tied and double bagged if there are liquids. Please do not leave your trash in hallways or bathrooms. And remember, food waste cannot be thrown out in bathroom trash cans. Failure to regularly take out your trash is against community standards and may result in judicial actions. Aluminum, glass, Plastics, newspaper, and cardboard should be recycled. Ask your RA where the recycling is located for your residence hall. Pizza boxes and other trash items should not be recycled. If you want to get involved in the campus recycling efforts, contact the RIC Sustainability Director at ricsus at uark.edu. This concludes the first video. Navigate to the other videos to learn about residential staff and safety. In this second video, I'm going to speak about the staff members who live in your community and help keep your building running safely and smoothly. First, there are your resident assistants, better known as RAs. Your RAs are upperclassmen who live on your floor. These are returning students who work for housing and help make your living experience a great one. Your RA is the ideal person to go to if you have questions about campus resources. Part of your RA's job role is to plan programs and take residents to events throughout the year. If you want to get involved on campus, these are the ideal people to talk to. RAs may also take time to listen to academic and personal problems that may arise. It is important to realize that these are not mental health professionals, but they are able to connect you to those resources. If you have a conflict with your roommate, you should try to discuss it with them first. If you guys cannot come to an agreement, you can bring in your RA for a fresh set of eyes. All RAs take turns being on duty and doing things what we call rounds. Rounds are when different RAs will be walking your residence halls, doing things such as getting to know residents, ensuring that building needs are being taken care of, assisting with lockouts, and addressing community concerns such as excessive noise. If you are dealing with a problem that needs immediate addressing, such as being locked out of your room and our building, you can contact the RA on duty. 
These numbers will be posted on the front door of your residence halls. The other staff member in your residence hall that you should be aware of is your CRE. Your CRE is a housing staff member who lives in their own apartment in the hall and has an office in the hall as well. Their office is generally located on the first floor near the front desk. Ask your RAs exactly where you can find your CRE's office. The Coordinator for Residence Education, or CRE, can help with about any questions you have about the residence halls. They facilitate the day-to-day -day operations and apply the community standards which we discussed in the first segment. CREs also assess damages in the building and serve as the discipline referral person. They supervise the RAs as well as other student staff. They advocate for student needs, develop a good student learning environment, and share leadership and involvement opportunities. Both CREs and RAs have the primary goal of ensuring a positive student experience and keeping your building safe. They want to get to know you, so if you see them around, feel free to stop and talk to them. During this segment, I'm going to discuss safety in our residence homes. Everyone plays a role in keeping our campus community safe. First, we must work to make sure that our residence halls are an inclusive environment for all. Negative, hurtful, or racist behavior is not tolerated on our campus. If you experience discrimination of any kind, go to report.uark.edu and inform a staff or faculty member. Secondly, we need to protect both ourselves and others. Although wearing a mask and social distancing is no longer required on campus, it is recommended for those who are not yet fully vaccinated. If you are not yet fully vaccinated and would like to be, you can visit health.uark.edu to schedule an appointment. If you experience COVID-19 symptoms at any point throughout the year, you can also go to this website to schedule COVID-19 testing. You will see housekeeping and maintenance in your residence halls regularly. They work very hard to keep your environment clean and safe. So please treat them with respect and feel free to get to know their names and talk with them when you have a chance. Candles and incense are considered fire hazards and are not allowed in any of the residence halls, including Duncan apartments, even if they are only used for decorations. Appliances that have open coils of heating, such as a toaster or George Foreman grills, are also not allowed as they are inclusive in fire hazards. Please do not obscure, lock, or hide things on your smoke detectors or sprinklers so that they work properly and do not cause damage to your rooms. There will be a scheduled fire drill twice a year for each resident hall. You can check the signs within your hall or talk to your RA so you know how to exit your building and where your building's rally points are located. If your window has a screen, please do not remove it and climb onto the ledge. These are very dangerous actions. If this policy is violated, it can result in reassignment to a new room or removal from campus housing completely. Another way of keeping our halls safe is to make sure that only residents enter our halls. Please do not give your form or key to anyone. Please do not prop open entrance or exit doors or let in any non-resident after you. If you are locked out of your building and our room, during business hours, you can call the front desk or after hours, you can call the RA on duty. These numbers will be posted at the front doors of all of your residence halls. There are many resources on campus to keep you safe. If you or someone else is experiencing an emergency on campus, feel free to call or text University Police at 479-575-2222.
If you ever feel unsafe or uncomfortable walking alone on campus, you can feel free to call UAPD for an escort. If you are off campus and within Fayetteville and you have no options for transportation back to campus, you can call 479-575-SAFE for the use of our Safe Ride services. For more information about these services, feel free to visit the Parking and Transit website or the UAPD website for things such as hours of operation. The University of Arkansas also has on-campus counseling and psychological services, or as we call them, CAPS. They are located within the Pot Walker Health Center and can be reached at 479-575-5276. This is the end of our safety segment. If you have more questions, feel free to talk to your RA or email us at housing at uark.edu.